Max! Max! Stay back. We're going home. When approaching the sound design, a very important part is having those conversations with the director Talking of kind down. of where you're going to take it. The advice I would give any director that's ready to go into sound design from their film is to get in conversation with them as early as possible. You don't have to wait for the film to be shot to do that because there's a lot of ideas they may come up with. Those conversations and discussions help you zone in to the right type of sounds and mood and emotion that you want to portray in those moments. And that was very important for us and, and absolutely essential for the film. For me, sound and picture is, is this marriage that has to work together. Us directors have stuff in our mind that we know what this film's gonna look and sound like. But the big task for any director is communication, is conveying what's in there. Also, we started working when it wasn't completely produced. So there was a little bit as well of like us sending things and Haas saying, oh, I love that. I'm going to expand on that because it sounds really cool. So there was also a little bit of back and forth. I feel that some of the stuff we do helped those final stages of the polishing of the animation. So it was a really interesting kind of workflow because of that. When, when you're designing sound, when you're creating animation, all of that comes from a feeling of emotion. It comes from instinct. The whole idea of working with a team like Soundo is that they bring something to the table that takes the vision that you have in your head and just elevates it further as a partnership. One of the most important things is developing that sonic idea, that sonic soundscape that you want to create. So very important was the premise of the film, which is multiple universes, multiple timelines, multiple realities happening, and how can we create that that feeling of moving through space-time to another dimension, to another reality. When it came to some of the sound design elements that repeat, what we find as well is we would create like a core, like the base, say for example, of Max rifting or of the universe, when Max is kind of traveling through the multiple universes. What, what I love about working the sound notes is the fact that how emotionally invested they are in the story. And that every conversation we're having is really about character. And there's even like nuances in the background of stuff. They, they would kind of like show me all the layers. I'm like, wow, there's all that detail, a lot of thought gone through that. They look at story, they look at character. Every single thing matters to them. And you can hear it in the sound design. Finding layers within sounds that can combine with other layers of other sounds and with different processes combined to that. It was a lot more of creating this rhythm, this flow of sound that just made the scene work and help elevate the animation that is there. Max Beyond. Available now on digital.